goat cheese, strawberries, tomatoes, balsamic, basil. Mm. And we're going to make strawberry and goat cheese bruschetta or bruschetta as they say in Italian. Bruschetta. So let's get started on our cooking. For our strawberry bruschetta, we want some toast and we want to make a little bit of concentrated balsamic. Now you can buy that uh, balsamic syrup. Most of those have corn syrup in them, so we're going to make our own really quickly. And I'm using a flat pan so it happens fast. So I'm going to put a couple, maybe a quarter cup of balsamic in there. And I'm going to put just a little bit of maple syrup into my balsamic. So that's going to sweeten it and it's also going to give it that gloss, that little syrupy consistency. When you're making caramels and syrups, you don't want to make them as thick as you want them to be when they're cool because when they cool, they're going to get twice as thick. So I just basically give it a minute or two, just like that. While that's going, I'm going to turn on my middle burner here because we're going to make our toast, okay? Now, these bruschetta or bruschetta are really delicious and we're going to use something interesting here. This is gluten-free bread. This is called Against the Grain. It's a beautiful gluten-free toast, uh, like a baguette, and I really like it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little olive oil in the pan, and I'll show you one of my Rickisms, okay? Season the pan. Salt and pepper, right in the pan. It always makes me nervous when I see people going like this, sprinkling olive oil on toast, because you're only getting little lines of olive oil. And in this way, we're gonna get it all going. Look at my syrup. It's almost there, right? We want to get it to coat the back of a spoon. See that? Turn it off. Let it cool. Any longer, it's going to be too thick. Let's get it out of the hot pan so it stops cooking. And we have a beautiful balsamic syrup that we're going to put on our bruschetta. So let's start this up. My pan's getting warm. Putting my toast in there. I don't want the pan to get too, too hot because then they'll start burning right away. So we're going to go right in here. I'll make four or five of them for you. That way I can eat them all and tell you how good they were. So while those toast, we're going to watch. We're going to build the rest of our bruschetta, okay? So what I'm going to use for this is strawberries, of course. Plenty of them. Nice spoonful for each one. And now we're going to go savory here. We're going to take our strawberries and we're going to add a couple of ingredients. One is tomato. Tomato and strawberry, they're from the same farm. They come up relatively, strawberries are a little earlier, same dirt, and super delicious. So see, I got a nice sharp knife. I'm gonna dice my tomatoes, bruschette the size. Give them a cut, give them a cut. I'm gonna go about 50-50 tomatoes to strawberries. So this is savory, right? Strawberries have sweetness, but they also have tartness. Tomatoes have tartness, but they also have sweetness. So between the two, we get this really delicious flavor. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna add a little bit of that extra virgin olive oil right here to that, maybe a lot of it. We're gonna add a little salt, and then we're going to add fresh basil. So look, here's my one of my basil plants from my yard. I grow them in pots. Here's a little trick to keep your basil going all year. See what's happening here? These guys are gonna go to flower soon, and then go to seed after that. So what I do is, I make dishes all the time in the summer with basil, but I go and pull those tops off because those are going to go to seed. If you keep doing that, your plant will start to grow. It'll grow outward. You'll get more basil. So don't forget, pinch your basil, trim your basil. So look, chiffonade, straight against the grain. Fair amount of basil. Strawberries, tomato, and basil. Oh my, we're looking good. Let me check my little toast here. I have set a tongue somewhere, but I put them, oh, I know where I put them. I put them on the handle of the new stove. Yo, what's up with that? So check it, turn them over. Oh, beautifully, look at, come over here. Look at how beautifully golden these got cooking in oil as opposed to being sprayed with oil. Now, I don't want them to get really hard, so I'm gonna turn this off and let them rest. I'll actually take a plate right here and put them on there and let them cool off a bit before we assemble these beautiful strawberry, basil, and goat cheese bruschetta. So, I have here 
some beautiful goat cheese. I left it out for a little while to soften so it's easier to spread. You see that? This is a fromage blanc. Just an un lightly salted, creamy goat cheese. On that olive oily bread with the salt, you can actually see the salt crystals cooked right into the bread. The way I did it in the pan, that's the way to do it. Don't be sprinkling your olive oil all over the place and sprinkling your salt, because what you're gonna get then is a salty bite, an oily bite, and a plain bite. Instead, now you're getting all of it in one bite. So these are one of my favorite little party snacks. At New World Home Cooking, we serve these for summer, early summer weddings all the time as an appetizer. All right, so that's that. What's next for this dish? Very simple. Take my spoon, I have my salt, olive oil, right? Tomatoes and strawberries. I'm gonna garnish each one of these with a nice spoonful of this. Make sure I see strawberry and tomato combined. You get the both flavors in a bite. And I'll show you the finishing touch. And literally, dish one is done in five minutes. So now, here's where stuff is magical. Off with the stove. Here's where it gets magical. We're going to take our little balsamic syrup here. Ah, pow, sweet and sour. But we need one more flavor element. We need your mouth to go, yay! Black pepper, very Italian. Don't be afraid, strawberries and black pepper Look at that, grind it right on there. Boom. That, my friend, strawberry, tomato, basil, bruschetta, black pepper, and balsamic. Hey, Lizzie, how's the strawberry bruschetta? Uh -huh. It's great. Yeah, I'm gonna get one myself. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Goat mm -hmm. cheese, strawberries, tomatoes, balsamic, basil, mm.